On our wedding night, I found a zipper on my hubby's head. I waited for him to fall asleep to check what it was. But I dozed off and woke up alone. Mark was in the bathroom. His head was in the sink. I tried to run, but all the windows and doors were locked. I was calling 911 when my husband came in. I should have told you before the wedding. Mark pulled the zipper and there was a monster under his skin. Screaming, I tried to escape, but my legs failed me. The last thing I recall was his face and a deadly kiss. I woke up in a cold sweat. Just a nightmare. I need to show you something. I should have done it sooner. Mark's zipper got stuck. I remembered my dream and called the cops. They came in time to save me from the monster. That imposter did something to my husband and is wearing his face. Mark bade me to listen, but I was afraid. Forensics say the face is silicone, not skin. But his DNA matched that of my husband. So, my husband has been wearing this the whole time? Why? I saw Mark without the mask for the first time. After the fire, I became a pariah. I recreated my face. I didn't want to lie anymore. I told you and no one else. It was time for me to come clean. I had a terrible secret too. But I understand. Who could love these scars? Choking on tears, I fled without revealing my secret. I withdrew my police report, filed for divorce, and skipped town. Mark's words confirmed my thoughts. No one would accept me. I decided to hide somewhere no one would find me. But Mark did. He was wearing his mask again. <gasps> you spoke about this lighthouse on our first date. I didn't tell you for fear of losing you. Because I'm crazy about you. I used to be the only female firefighter in our squad. One day, my helmet came off. My hair, my pride and joy caught fire. I saved a man, but ended up bald and with severe burns. It's incredible, but Mark is the man I'd saved. I wanted to thank my savior in person, but they didn't let me. Mark was the first person to see me without a wig. He said I was beautiful and wanted to always be with me. I won't ever take off the mask if you say so. I fell for more than your looks. We don't need to hide anymore. I got a tattoo over my scars to emphasize my uniqueness. We stopped hiding and posted our photo on social media. That's how we started hashtag no more hiding on social media. People with vitiligo and scars stopped masking and posted unfiltered photos. They thanked us for inspiring them to show their true selves. When did your partner see you makeup free for the first time? What was their reaction?